Okay, we're sitting here at the, the, the gas station I pulled into. And T8's having troubles with his camera that locked up on him. So, uh, that's the, that's the GoPro Hero 3 Black. Remember, it locks up sometimes. Ha ha ha. Of course, <laughs> the H2s do too. But hey, that is life. It's something we've got to deal with as, uh, people with cameras on their heads. Take your time, I'm just backing it up. I'm not the key in yet. Just checking his GPS. He's gonna have a hard time backing up. I might have to give him a hand. I don't think, I don't know. He's gotten pretty good at that. I just hate the grease spots that are around our freaking cars. I know, I know my SUV doesn't leak gas. Or oil. Or antifreeze or anything. Hold on. Give my toe. <laughs> this ground was just so sloped. Makes it hard to Back up. I actually pulled my hip a little bit doing that for my bike bike. Which is gonna make it uncomfortable riding. But hey, we did it. I didn't know if that truck was gonna stop, I'll tell you that. The goat is back on the road with the great NT8 on the back and tail of it. I think, uh, I, like the, I think Tom likes to follow the tail light of the goat. I don't know. I enjoy riding with him. I know that. Had a nice little pit stop and kind of rest the butt a little bit and uh, get a drink or something. And normally I get water. But this time I opt for a glass of Coke, a bottle of Coke. We're having fun. That's one thing I love about riding. I mean, I wish I rode sooner in my life. I really do. I really do. It's amazing what I've missed. Not being on two wheels. I've driven an 18-wheeler. I've driven four-wheelers. I've driven eight-wheelers. Oh, two wheels. I think the funnest has been two wheels. I've not flown yet. I've uh, kept in the small boat. I own a small boat. Uh, what the heck? Well, I've actually flown. I have flown. I've ridden a helicopter. I was young. God, I was like eight, nine years old, I think. Had it been about, about eight, I'd say. 
and uh, I, they, they had like an air show out by my way where I was living, where my, my parents were living, and they let me ride a helicopter. It was one of those all. Oh, it was one of the service helicopters, the green ones. I don't know what kind it was really. I was so young, but that was fun. But not as fun as I mean, owning your own motorcycle and traveling the countryside. And you know, I don't go a whole too far really. But uh, it's far enough for me, and it's far enough for my capabilities. Happy he didn't try to pull cross on me. I've got one of those uh, cramp busters. That flips around on my mirror. I got it hooked onto my mirror right now. That's where I've had it for oh, almost a year. Well, over, it's been about a, it's been about over a year now. I got it. When Tom gave it to me whenever I got the bike off him, and uh, he he said it goes with the bike. Here you go. And uh, I said okay. And he warned me not to use it. And, like well, you shouldn't use it like in towns and stuff. And I'm like well, you know, I, I do mostly town riding. So I just hooked it up there and don't use it much. I mean, I've never really put it on my grip. My grips are heated and I do enjoy those whenever it's cold out. I thought I was going to need them this morning. This morning was cold. Uh, we got up, it was like, I think it was 7.30 and it was like 56 degrees out, which is not considered really cold. Whenever you climatize to like 80, 90 degrees and that's comfortable. 56 sound feels cool for it to you. Oh yeah. So what I so I thought, well, you know, now I'll clip on that grip warmers, but I don't need them. It, it, it's comfortable. My fact, I'm actually a little bit too warm. I got a, like a, a, a warm long sleeve shirt on with underneath my leather, which is going to be pulled out. This trip, though, I did. I think I did make a mistake. I didn't pack on my. Uh, Oh, there's the old, I hope you got a shot. It might have been too dark to see. So the, the old uh, fire engine that somebody owns it. Well, as I was saying, oh yeah, I did not, I'm not carrying my denim jack, which, I mean, it's not really safe to ride with the denim if you go down. But I'll tell you, it's better than having nothing on, just long as you shirt. I mean, I figured that's a few rocks that would not be pulled out of me. Yeah. <laughs> I am looking for it. In fact, I've got a box. I got something ordered, which I'm not going to reveal what it is on this video. I'm going to go ahead and uh, leave the box opening until I get home. Something that's going to be pretty cool. I think it's going to help me out. I know a lot of you other riders probably say, oh, junk. But I'll tell you, I don't have much gear. I've been building gear as I can, as I can afford it. And uh, I haven't been able to afford gear much at all. My gloves and my helmet is my biggest gear. My leather jacket, yeah, it works. It helps me. I've actually, it actually helped me with gravel hit once, right after I got the goat. And um, but it's not really good. It's not really good protection. I mean, come on, you can break your arm really easily. I have, I mean, it, it'll rip off, it, the leather will rip apart. Especially mine. You know, it's bear hide. I got a truck ahead of me. Come on, where you at? Okay. And we're going to do a roundabout. This is not a true roundabout, but it's it, it, it's cool. It's a little round circle for the town. Round and round we go. Where we go, tomatoes.
that corner a little wide. I think I did that last time. But I do like that roundabout. It's not really a true roundabout. It's kind of a, uh, uh, like a town circle instead of a square. But I, I like it. It's it, uh, I really like it. Got winds buffering me like crazy. It's one of those, th those things that you like to do on a trip that you ride on a lot. Got a lot of silos there. I think those, that's all corn. Pretty short. Yeah, fresh sweet corn sold there. It's probably what they put the silo in there is corn. Not the sweet corn though. It's, 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 it's regular corn for the like cattle and stuff. We have a lot of cattle around. 